Now we'll come to the next question. Next question is telling if A is increased by X percent, again it has converted to B, B is increased by Y percent, it is converted to C, but C again, how much change we have to do, then it will convert to A. One thing is sure, two times you are increasing, one time you are decreasing, then this will be decreased. That is one thing sure. It is not going to become an increase. But how much? How much it will decrease? How much it will be decreased? That is only question. Can we be able to find any unique answer? Any unique answer we will not able to find because X and Y both has given in variable. But we'll try to understand, we'll take any value of X and Y, we'll try to understand how we will able to understand in terms of X and Y. 100, just to suppose we have taken X equal to 10, then it has become 110. Why we have taken why we have taken 20, it has become 22 you have to add, it will become 132. Means now it has changed to 100 has changed to 132. Now 132 you have to bring back to 100. What will be change? Change will be 32 out of 132, not 100. Because now base will become 132. 132 you have to go back to 100. Means you have to decrease by 32 out of 132. What will be the value? What will the percentage value? Can we measure here? Directly we can calculate either based on the division concept or based on the percentage concept, any of the concept we will be able to measure it. We can say here it will be around, uh, it will be around 24%. We can say it is approximately 24 or 25% will be there. Means here we have to decrease it by 24%, then you will get again value equal to 100. What is 24%? We will able to calculate in terms of 10 and 20 lump sum you will not able to calculate exactly in terms of in terms of x and y because if you are adding x and y it will become 30 percent actual change will be more than 30 because it is becoming successive change successive change of 10 percent and 20 percent net change will become more than 30 percent due to here we are getting 132 net change is 32 percent not 30 percent already i discussed net change is 32 percent not 30 percent then here 132 100 we have to decrease by almost 24%. Here we can calculate like 100 to 132 and 132 to 100. Means if we are just shifting like this 100 to 132 and 132 to 100, then we can apply the concept of 1 by x and 1 by x. So 132 we can just replace by 33 means approximately 133 means 1 by 3 it is increasing, then it should decrease by 1 by 4. That we are getting around. What is 24%? It is around 25%. 24%, 25% almost same. If we are increasing little bit, means 100 to 120, it is increased by 33% approximately. Then this side, it will decrease by 25%. Why it is happening? Because 33% is equal.